It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Bucks and the Pack, and it's coming up next. We are at the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Green Bay Packers. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Lambeau. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. Orchestrating the offense will be the top pick in the 2018 draft, and that's Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, He'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. Start the drive with a give to White. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Mayfield looks to throw. And this is caught by Evans. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On third and one, here's Mayfield. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. First down, here's White. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. 
Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. First down, Mayfield. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your line and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. To try again after the sack, Mayfield. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for knock. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll force upon him a third and 14. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Going up top. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Russell Gage, 48 yards. And the Buccaneers have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And that one gives the Bucks a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Taken in at the three. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. A six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now, he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Love and the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. 
Second down, another shot for Jones. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. First carry now for A.J. Dillon. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Caught on the right side by Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Well, I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Love. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. To throw now, here's Love. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. The corner blitz pays off there as they sack him for a loss of five. Well, their first sack of the game, and it doesn't come from a usual suspect, not somebody up front, but Charles, a defensive back getting in there. And I can tell you from experience, he's beyond excited to make that play because you're exactly right. Is it normal to call his number to run at the quarterback like that? Usually you're defending the pass, but he takes full advantage and dumps him to the turf. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Love setting up the screen here, Aaron. And it's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. This drive didn't end well, but if they can keep stringing these together, they'll like what they're doing. That was an eight-play drive before it ended in a fumble. So the takeaway's got to be doing what we want to do and doing it well. Just got to take care of the ball at the end. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. 
Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. First and ten, Mayfield. Flushed out right. Hey, we don't need no more penalties right here. Now they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. Usually gonna pick up a holding call. They go play action. Mayfield. Flush to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Russell Gage with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Buccaneers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good, and it's now 14 to nothing. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. Now that's a run that runs a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Love looking to throw it. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Here's Love. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is going to have a Packers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route? Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Love going to give this one to Jones. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
He's already put it on the ground once in this first half. There are no gain, just struggling to get going. Yeah, and what he needs right now, a dose of confidence, which means his guys have to chop a hole, a big one for him, give him a chance to run a little bit and gain some of that confidence back. He didn't get it on that carry. Here's Jones again on second down. Oh, able to avoid him. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Pretty good running there. Nine yards. Sets up a third and one. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way. But you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge. And that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they get set to start their drive with a first and 10. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just now supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Looking downfield for Godwin. And got his man complete. And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 48 yards. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Mayfield. And incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. And it took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing, Mayfield. Being chased out left. And his throw here is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. Eluding the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. fourth down so Jake Camarda is out there 
And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. And now the Packers get set to go. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Working out of the gun. Love. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Guys, we can get it on. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Mayfield to throw it. Steps away to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Mayfield now. He finds his target. It's Evans. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. The Jake Camarda sent on now to punt this away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10.
on first and ten. Love. And he wisely will throw that one away. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. An inside give to Jones. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Packers. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Love with a give to Dillon. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing. Love. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Three yards remain for second down. Now a handoff. Running left is Jones. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Love now. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Now a first down carry by Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Play action this time with Love. And this one complete to Reed. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. Now Love. The left side completion to Jones. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball 
possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. On play action. Love to throw. He'll find his tight end here, DeGuara. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down at four. Back to throw again. That is caught inside the five. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Dillon is in. Touchdown, Packers. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off with a touchdown run. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Mayfield on first down. He's got Otten. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. To throw again on second down, Mayfield. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Let's go. Let's focus in on what we got to do. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. They'll go up the middle with White. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
Here's Jake Camarda now. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And his throw is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So tug on the face mask, and that's going to cost him 15 yards. And sometimes it'll go unnoticed, but that one, pretty obvious for everyone to see. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught downfield by Reed. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Jordan Love ready on first down here. This will be caught inside the 10. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. A quick throw there going to be batted away at incomplete. And a lot of being a defender is being able to learn what you can and can't get away with when in man coverage. In this case, he got away with it and helped pop that ball free. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Touchdown, Packers! From four yards out. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Extra points safely through. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Five plays there on that drive. And the result, a Green Bay score. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. 
And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. A one more drive here for the Buccaneer offense in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Nineteen seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and ten. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from the first half for the Bucks, And they didn't get a whole lot done in the rushing department in those first two quarters. They probably feel pretty lucky to be tied here at halftime. Meanwhile, for the Packers, here's a look at their numbers throwing the football in what was a very even first half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard from the six. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Well, the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. First down, love to pass. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Well, the pressure gets to Love, and he'll go down. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. Now, that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football it led to a sack, and that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Up the middle, Jones. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Love. He rifles one that's intercepted. 
picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taking it about the one. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, Loss of yardage ugly. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Love. And he fires one that's intercepted. And it's a pick. Six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. Hey, that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders got to add to the lead directly. McLaughlin for the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. 
and they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. A little jet sweep to start the drive. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Joe Tryon there to make the tackle. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. On second down, it's Jones. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 67 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Love looking to throw it. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Here's Love. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Jamel Dean. And the Bucs are going to get it back here just past the 35. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard... Teams actually doing that back in the good old days. They begin the drive on the ground. It's white, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing Mayfield. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. With all the success they've had throwing the football as a pass rusher, you know you've got to come hard when you see him drop back to throw. 
So I really like this call to counteract that pass rush with a screen. It turns into positive yardage. A lot of times the offense says, just replace the rusher with the ball, and it turns into a good play. That's out to the flat for Edmonds. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. First down, Mayfield. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Working out of the gun, Mayfield gets it out quick. It's Gage on the slant. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Working with a second and three. Now Mayfield. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 20-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down, here's White. They'll get to him just inside the 15-yard line. And even after that fancy footwork we saw, a good job defensively to recover. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Here's Mayfield. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. To throw Mayfield. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards. And they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. This will be spotted at the 20, so it's a 30-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the defense able to force the interception, and the offense working their way into field goal range and able to get three out of it. Yeah, and give them credit for that. They took the ball, maneuvered it downfield, and while they couldn't get exactly what they wanted, which was a touchdown, they did get three points out of it. So they paid off what the defense gave them. Both sides would be thrilled with that.
After the made field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Working out of the gun. Love. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down. But that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. They start to drive with White. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On second down, they'll run with White. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time, the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself, and that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. They'll run on first down, Edmonds. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Let's go. 
So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Mayfield to throw it. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The Bucks on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. On the draw, it's White. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Only a yard of the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Another drive coming up for this Packers offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. On second and 10, Love. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now Love. He finds Watson complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. To the air again, Love. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Throwing again on second down. Love. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Shaquille Barrett picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Let's go now. Let's go. Desperation time here. Love on fourth down. 
He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And this defense will take over right at midfield. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10 right at the 50 yard line. They will run with White out of the shotgun. No gain on the play there, second down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. They stay on the ground with White. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, a run from White. And he is going to lose yardage here. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. Vita Vea stopped that play in its tracks. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Love now. Forced out. To, and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Shaquille Barrett able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. The offense on third down, they've hit on half of them, five for 10. This will be third and forever to pass. Here's Jordan Love. Got a man and he hits him in stride. It'll be a gain of 17, but even with that, they'll be well short here for fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. <laughs> and that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. On fourth down, Love. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. 
And he is going to have a Packers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. To throw now. Here's Love. He'll find Jones again. Complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Again, it's Love. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though. No surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Throwing. Love. And this one complete to Reed. And he is going to have a Packers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can't go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Dance it. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And that might just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. And that's a linebacker showing he can move pretty good with a football in his hand. That's not just a short shuttle now. He took it and went a pretty good distance, didn't he? Did you get the 40 time on that? <laughs> I didn't, but he got six points out of it. I know that and a great play for that defensive unit. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The scoop and score. Always an exciting play in football. And we witnessed it there. Grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers offense set to go. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because... One team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Love now to pass on first down. Now to the left here to Reed. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but... Certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, 
a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something that feels a little bit cheap but if they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit to this squad give him a gain of five on the completion and it'll be second down let's do this man From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Going back to Love. And Watson has it, right side. And this is gonna lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 36. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Now they gotta get to the line quickly. First down, love to pass. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now a second down and six. Here's Love. And he's got his big tight end here. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Love. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Escaping the pressure right. Going for it all. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for them. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Love to throw for it on fourth. And this is incomplete. It looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Down to one knee goes Mayfield, and that's all she wrote. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.